5,000 miles away, pilots are approaching the colossal jack-up rig Rowan, Louisiana. But there's a major problem. These structures are not really meant to be boarded out at sea. The waters are too rough, and the pilot boat can't risk getting close to the rig. But pilot Jay Rivera comes up with an alternative strategy. Is he going to put a basket on? Because of the structure around the, the boarding area, we're going to have a personnel basket rigged, and we'll put it on the bow of the boat. And he'll land the basket on there and do the personnel transfer that way. Named after its inventor, William Pugh, the Billy Pugh method of transfer was established in the 50s. Kevin Monaco prepares to board. It'll make anybody nervous to be that high up in the air just being suspended by one, one cable. Don't look down. <laughs> Once aboard the jack-up rig, Kevin Monaco must find a good vantage point where he can coordinate the tugs. Cap Monaco will be maintaining, assisting me to maintain control of the rig using these two tugs on the stern of the rig. I'll be controlling the two forward tugs. They told me that the rig is going directly on the Osprey. Yes, that's what that I know, but that's it. All right, we'll take care of you. Jay transfers onto tugboat Signet Polaris, and now the team need to get a move on. Towing the rig along the narrow 4.7 mile long channel is so difficult that the passage is closed to other traffic while Rowan, Louisiana comes into port. We've got about another hour and a half before the channel needs to be open. Here in Corpus, it's the fifth largest port in the nation uh, at the, the, the epicenter of, of the domestic oil trade. So we, we have a lot of things moving and waiting for, for this to get out of the way. Uh, some of these vessels that we handle here are chartered out at, at freight rates of over 50, 70, even $100,000 a day. So every hour counts. Here in just a couple minutes, we'll be starting our turn, uh, turn inbound towards Corpus. We have three bodies of water meeting and dumping water out where all the currents converge. You can see where the rip, where the discoloration of the water meets both bodies of water. And this is where you have to come in deep into this turn and make a real sharp turn. To battle the currents, it's vital the team positions the rig in precisely the right spot going into the turn. There's a, a residential area called Ingleside on the Bay, and it's just literally a stone's throw away from the tug. So we'll be coming in uh, a 400 foot wide channel with uh, an overall length of over 600 feet. So if we angle too much, we run the risk of running into the ends of the bank or running, letting this thing ro roll on top of a home. And then we, of course, we, we don't want that to happen. 